So here we are building a cattle barn. Okay, we're really going out the door this time as soon as I suck this down. Ugh. All right, you ready? Let's go battle the cold. few minutes to sit and wait. Um, you guys are just not going to sit there, are you? I have a problem with this thing just sitting where I want it to sometimes. Nothing like looking at my nose. Here. How about there? There we go. Um, I'm waiting on somebody to get here, so I have a few minutes to kind of chit chat. Um, I thought this would be a good time to kind of talk to you guys about some of the things that I have um, that I want to um, kind of head on going into the next year because it's already, you know, the middle of November. Um, actually, I think today's the 19th. Yeah, today's the 19th. So in January, um, I am going to go on another retreat thing. Actually, I have a lot of trips going on in the next couple, couple weeks. Um, I'm going to Omaha for the FBN Farmer to Farmer in December. Then in January, I'm going to fly down to Texas and do um, some stuff there, which I'm really, really excited about, which is partially like my little black book I carry around these days to like kind of jog, jot down my thoughts. Um, I'm a writer by nature. My blog is definitely work of that because that's kind of my outlet. Um, journaling is my therapy per se. Um, I recommend it if you need to express your thoughts without... Um, saying mean things or hurtful things or just being able to get it out there. Uh, journaling is what is like my therapy along with the horses and the cows and everything else. But, um, I've been working on this side project that has kind of like taken preference to everything else these days that I'm really, really excited about. Like sometimes I get really excited about some other stuff and then it kind of flops on me, but this, I feel good all the way down to hear and it's a reminder of like why why I started sharing in the first place um, and getting our story out there but um, I'm going to start doing some consulting um, kind of like it's not I guess the technical term would be like virtual assistant but that's not that's not really what it is either because um, I'm really just niching myself down to help other youtubers um, I got my start because other YouTubers helped me. Like they, they gave me advice. They gave me equipment advice. You guys are always telling me uh, what I can do better and what I should change. And like just taking that into consideration. I wish there was like a little book that says, do this, do this, do this. And you will succeed. Life's not like that. Life doesn't give us a book to read. Um, well, I mean, it does. Um, probably going to uh, ruffle some feathers. But um, I'm being honest here. There is a book that does help you prepare for life. Um, if you read it. But you have to read it. And then you also have to, like, kind of live by it. Um, I'm guilty. Life gets in the way. Life gets in the way. And sometimes that's easier said than done. Okay? Okay. Um, I didn't come on here to preach at you, obviously. I'm really just waiting on somebody. Um, but I felt led to kind of talk to you guys about the different directions um, that I was headed and doing some more of the creative creative things that I, I really miss doing. Um, you, you guys went, you saw me go to Rural Rooted with Natalie and Meredith. Um, you've seen me go to the retreat and 
get to really um, niche down and kind of learn from some of the best out there. You know, Sandy has been a godsend, literally. Um, I have some silent anonymous supporters that have been in my corner from like literally the get-go. Um, I won't name them, but I sure hope they realize how much they mean to me. Um, we wouldn't be here at this point going into four years of YouTube if it wasn't for you guys continuing to watch. So needless to say, we're going to finish out the year doing what we do best. Um, starting in January, we're, we may retitle some things. Um, not going anywhere. The channel's not going anywhere, but maybe my focus is. Um, definitely the day in the life stuff, more vlogging style. Just come with me, do chores, cab. We have lots of calving going on soon enough. Just a lot of things. So if you guys are just now finding us, welcome to the farm. Welcome to the crazy life of me chasing kids and cows and sometimes Jason too. Um, but yeah, I thought we, this video is kind of pieced together probably last videos. I, like it seems like the last several, probably last month of videos have just kind of been pieced together because that's just how our off season kind of is right now. We're building that barn um, piece by piece, slowly, it's getting there. Uh, let's see, the kids are just doing school. Keaton's basketball now, Jalen's still tumbling. I'm still doing a lot of riding. And Jason, well, he's just working, working all the time. Um, hopefully get out this weekend and get some deer footage. The boys both got deers um, earlier in the year, or earlier in the year, like, last week um they both got a deer deers deer whatever you know they got their own uh Jalen and I may go out this week if it warms up it's a little hard to take her out when it's 15 degrees so mama always gets pulled in multiple directions it seems like I have talked for six minutes again guys if you made it this long I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> coming along really nicely except for we've got like not that you guys can see because the sun is like hitting the camera just right uh, the barn the metal on it may not go up today because we're like got 35 miles an hour wind and the tin is actually like blowing off the trailer so I'm not sure that might be a good idea for today's endeavor Jason's got to load some hay up um, for some folks coming in I always find it really interesting how people find us um, and decide like whether or not they're going to buy hay from us. Um, these guys are actually here maybe for a funeral? I can't remember. They're here in town and they're actually from Wyoming. So he's going to load them up. They're going to wait on the roof today, right? Is that what they've decided? They're just putting the uh, purlings on. Purlings on. Uh, we're not putting metal up because of the wind. Yeah. And then are you going to go out hunt? I don't know. 
I am hoping to get out tomorrow. That's my goal, to go hunt tomorrow. We'll see what happens. The wind may me not be so wicked tomorrow. I think I've gotten to go out twice. Mom life, just sometimes just the way it goes. But I'll be able to go back out after rifle season because I'd rather shoot my crossbow anyway. So, are you staying warm enough? Mostly. Mostly. Alrighty. Well, we'll just wait for people to show up. Well, at least it's not as windy today. Not yet. Not yet. Will be. starting to really look like a barn now. I sent Keaton, you can probably hear him, I sent Keaton over with the mini, he's gonna go break water for the, the girls over there. I'm gonna lay metal today on the roof. It's really starting to come together. It's a 40 by 81. I don't know what the height is. Hey, do you know what the height is? Oh, yeah. Over here. <laughs> What's the height? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. Okay. You don't know either. <laughs> And this will be open, so we only have to tin this this side here, and then we'll. Um, this is where our shooting alley is going to work, and then eventually we're going to build a lean-to on that side where like Jason's standing. I'll have pins and stuff out there, and then this is the office. And I'll have a bathroom. And then that's the tack and feed room. So if you've seen uh, the concrete guy, we, we kind of backed into that post, but we saved it, which was really good. So my hitchin post, it's all coming together. The boys have been hanging their deers. Deer, I haven't got one. We might get to go out this week. Jason's cousins have been up, so kind of letting them. I can hunt during the week or any time. They're kind of limited, so. They've been a godsend, helping us get the, the roof and purlings on.
So this is just used metal Jason picked up at an auction, what, last summer? Last winter? I don't know. Sometime. I don't want to turn these around with that and strip the top, right? No, the overlap. This side's overlap. Or that side's overlap. No, that strip. Here, okay, see how this is? Hey, Jason, you want to climb that ladder? Just hold that yeah. end down yeah. square. Make sure we're flush with that. Take your end out just a little bit, Jason. There you go. So here we are building a cattle barn. Of course, Jason doesn't like to get on the uh, roof, so we get to do that work. He's always uh, runs away when the ladder comes out and we get the one to do that. So we'll be on the roof for a little while and we'll, uh, we'll see what, what comes of this little project.